Outside a Belgrade cemetery, thousands gather to pay their last respects to a fellow protester. This too is a political act, a continuation of the nearly 40 days of protest which have rocked the Serbian capital. The dead man, 39-year-old Predrag Starkovic, died on Tuesday. An opposition supporter, he'd been beaten after getting caught up in violent clashes with police and pro-government demonstrators. His death is potently symbolic, the first after nearly six weeks of daily opposition rallies. The dead man has achieved the status of martyr, and to mark the sombre new mood, opposition leader Vuk Draskovic was in prominent position at the graveside. He and other protest leaders want to end the regime of President Slobodan Milosevic, a regime which last month sparked the protests by cancelling the results of local elections. Now Draskovic says the crisis is spinning out of control. The situation is very dangerous. I'm very afraid. It means Serbia is unfortunately very close to civil war. The Milosevic government has ordered police to crack down. Riot squads stopped students from entering the city centre, but protesters poured into side streets instead, putting their hands on their heads to symbolise mock prisoner status. Belgrade streets still seethe with anger.